Yo, what up everybody? It's your boy Uncle Jesse and there's construction above me and there's nothing I can do about that so I'm sorry. Alright? Uh, you might want to turn your speakers down which is probably for the better. Uh, that way you don't have to hear me snoring or sleeping or that stuff going on above me. Uh, so with that being said, uh, well, let's get on to this filler. We are, uh, I mean, not a filler, we're doing a break. Bowman Chrome Baseball Hobby number one. Uh, I apologize for the sound. I know it, it sucks, but there's nothing I can do about it. So you're going to have to bear with me. And I appreciate y'all. So let's get to it. Everything you do, you want to do it on the camera. Opening the case, everything. I like to mix it up. So I'll just grab boxes from everywhere. And then I got my six. All right, good luck, everyone. Yeah, I really hope they don't do that for much longer. Well, this might be a quick break. We got Gabriel Rodriguez to 150 Indians for his Bowman. Yeah. Do you know where we keep our top loaders? So, right, you see where that little aisle is there? Like, right, if you, right next to the cage. Let me just show you. So, if you keep walking that way. All right, let's. Nice. A Jazz Rookie Silver for the Marlins. That's cool. Number. Unless you're talking about one of these, yeah, neither of those are numbered. Raul, wrong again. Damn, Raul, you might want to sit down and put yourself in time out there, buddy. Usually, you know what you're talking about, but uh... <laughs> wrong again. 
This one's numbered. See, it's numbered on the front. Playa. Michael Nunez, 499. First Bowman Cardinals. Thank God. I hope we stop some more. Got Tyler Keenan, first Bowman, Mariners. Alec Thomas, 250 D back. Can you give me more regular top loaders? I guess since it's, it's since it's past business hours for the building, they come in and they work now. Uh, but I hope they're done with all this jackhammering soon. Ooh, a gold. Zach Bean to 50, Rocky. Yo Hendrick Pinando Cubs first Bowman autograph. Oh damn, you didn't find any over there? Those are all fake over there. You sure? Yeah, Hassell. That's nice. It's not numbered though. Thank you, bro. You might want to open one of those cases if there's not more though. Are there are there more over there? I think there is. I was in the end. Okay. Thank you, bro. I think that would be a lot more cards. Yeah, I'm surprised. There's not that many cards, but thank God. So, you know, you don't have to pre sort this stuff. Well, you, I, I like to set the first one on the own. I, I like yeah I like to do it because I as a sorter I used to start I used to start it off as a sorter it makes my life so much easier and just like I said the first ones are the most are like the rookie ones basically those first anything with the one on it yeah the first bombings are what everyone's looking for in this stuff. I don't know what that is, but it's not coming off easily. Might be some kind of glue residue or something from one of the cards. I don't know, but you could probably take that off with a microfiber cloth. That little, that little smudge right there. Otherwise, nice card for uh, Royals. Took a Bradley 250. <laughs> Plaster from the construction. The 
So if you can pre-sort as you go, perfect. Otherwise, if it's slowing you down and you see people in the chat telling you to hurry up, speed is the most important thing, bro. I'd rather you not pre-sort it, honestly, because it's just, just going to take you time. It's more time. But as you get more comfortable with it, then you'll figure out your own way to do these things. Yeah. And then try to keep everything on this uh, mat because, yeah, if you, if you can tell, I don't let anything get past this edge because then it's not on the camera. And then same thing out here. I try to keep everything in this spot. What's up with your boy Zach Wilson, bro? Four interceptions? I thought my quarterback was garbage. He never threw four interceptions. What's up with that? And Donald's looking good out there with Carolina. Bro, Donald's coming into CMC, bro. And making it look like it's real good. CMC is averaging 150 yards catching a game. Gotta surround him with ballers, bro. No, that's true. I'm not the Buffett Jets. Actually, they're going to be the hardest that shit. They're letting him just throw the ball up and down the field. They got to control him a little bit. That man threw four balls that Tua would never throw in terms of depth on the, on the field. Yeah, like just, he was, well, he, he threw into like double coverage or something? Yeah, no, but he's throwing it 30, 40 yards on the field. You know what I'm saying? Like, he's trying to smart. But yeah, that's on the Jets. It's on the Jets, too. How do you like your new head coach? So far, he's all right. Is I don't he? want to say he's been great. I don't want to say he's been bad. I know he came from uh, from the Niners. He was like the defensive coordinator. And he's, I mean, I like a lot of things about him, but let's see how the team plays, you know, everything else about him. Yep. Our team is garbage, by the way. Sam Donald right now, is what I try to tell people. We get mad about Donald. Or the Jets fans, we get mad. Like, we like Donald. I'm like, Donald will be on to this right now. 100%. Pretty much. 100%. He'll be on to <laughs> with what the team that we have. Like, like, you guys haven't learned from what with, with Donald. Like, you guys need an O line. You gotta protect that round. guy. You dropped him in the first round. And, and you're getting butt whooped. Same thing with the Dolphins. Dolphins are doing the same thing we did with Tannehill. Yeah, but you guys dropped Can't surround him with a fucking O line. You guys dropped it off to Jackson. He's been well, that guy's garbage. He's been terrible. Beckton has been great, but he can't stay on the field. So what does it matter? Yeah, Dolphins uh, got some. I mean, good for us. We have draft capital up the ass. You have to get Watson. So we can make, bro, Watson, I'm, I'm tired of that. Watson's coming over here. He's not coming over here. Bro, you're the writing's on the wall. Right? He's not coming over here. He's not coming over here. He's not coming over here. The fact, the fact that he has that issue, he's not coming here, bro. It's a whole new regime, bro. The Dolphins aren't playing that shit. Bro, the owner is dying for him. It's, it's come out publicly. Nah, it's not gonna happen. It's not gonna happen. The owner wanted to trade for Burrow, and Cincinnati hung up the phone. What trade who for Burrow? They wanted to trade up for Burrow. They didn't want to. And no, they who knows what we would have done. We probably would have picked two with that I, pick. I'm speaking solely the owner. What came out that the owner Stephen Ross he wanted Joe Burrow, and he told him. Did he actually he say that? that? I mean, they they called Cincinnati for a package, and Cincinnati said we're not, we don't want anything. We're, we're keeping Burrow. And Cincinnati had what the number one First pick? Burrow, yeah, it's a Burrow. So what makes you think they wanted Burrow? If they trade, they called up. But what? What? No. What if they wanted to secure Tua with that pick? Was, I'm saying. No, Burrow was consensus first overall pick, like saying Trevor this year. Nobody was going to go. And Trevor's Trevor. sucking balls this year. Yeah, I don't so like far. I don't like Urban Meyer's style. Man, Urban Meyer is overrated as a coach. Like in the 10 games. Like, you already know what was going to happen. You knew what was going to happen. There was a writing on the wall. Yeah, this McCall Perez coming out a couple times to 99 right here, Mariners. Mariners are good this year. Are they? They were good. They were sounding good better, but supposed to be a trader player and to go with Gary. When's the season over? Yeah, I'm tired of baseball. <laughs> I want to see football and basketball highlights. Huh? 
You know, modern fans are dreadful because they're great. Who fucking s- just destroy their own team. Exactly. Yeah, that's so why I don't even bother watching them for what. Right now we can have John Carlos fan, Yelich, and everybody on one roster. Oh my god, bro. We had a squad back in the day. I mean, looking back on it, we had a squad. I'm saying we didn't, and we didn't even get big advantage of Stanton or Yelich. Remember that? Like, that was not even considered a squad. And what they could have been had they just held on a little longer. We don't know. Modern is giving away, and the Mets do the opposite. You know what I'm Mets go and buy everything, and it has to be. <laughs> yeah, you guys spent a lot of money. You got some good players. Okay. At least on paper, Baez, Lindor. Are you guys even like in the running for? We're, the, we're still in it, but we're trash. We were winning. We were leading the, the, the division the whole time, and then choked. At least you're in it, bro. Jacob Degrom got hurt. He was throwing, he was he was doing a legendary year this year. Yeah, like a 1.2 ERA. Mm, nice bell trade first Bowman of 75, Blue Jays. Is that Beltre's son? No. Oh, is it Beltre's son? I don't know. Yeah, uh, probably. Probably. Ooh, a redemption. Redemption is Malcolm Nunez of the Cardinals. There you go, Cardinals. Uh, what's the TB12 method? Uh, cheat at every possible opportunity. Uh, do not cooperate with a federal investigation. Uh, delete all evidence from all your phones. Uh, what what else? Oh yeah, record the other team. Uh, steal their play calls. Just cheat at every possible opportunity, and uh, you too can be successful, like uh, Tom Brady. Oh, and you know what's funny? Nobody ever mentions how Tom Brady has a top five defense every time he wins a championship. No one ever talks about that. Like if he did it all on his own. I'm going to say it right now. Tom Brady overrated. Five of the seven championships have asterisks. Better with Kobe with Kobe That'll be hilarious. I like Jacoby, but. That's what I'm trying to tell you, bro. Like, two of them. It just wouldn't surprise me if Jacoby ends up being better. Nah, he's not. Not better, but he carried the team in the same way. I mean, I think he's an upgrade over Fitzpatrick, but he's still a mediocre quarterback. Oh, we have Luis Mieses. 299 first Bowman autograph. White Sox mojo. It's going to be a long football season. The Hurricanes fucking suck. Not even the fact that we got whooped by Randall. It's not. It's everything else after that. <laughs> yeah, everybody needs to get fired. Almost done. Bro, fucking many Diaz is full of bull- fucking crap. Typical Miami guy. Talks to talk, can't walk to walk. We're 20 minutes into this. Okay, not bad. So I can probably knock out a half case in like half an hour. Oh, 
Austin Hayes, two ninety nine Orioles. You what now? Yeah, he's a veteran. Orioles are garbage though. Oh no, he's been in the league for a while. Thankfully not, J Mass. Thankfully, Nick Frasso. Fresh Bowman autograph to 99. Blue Jays. Ah, Mets Red Sox. Coming up. So after I'm done with this break, I'll have you uh, sit down, and then that way you can get more familiar with putting the filler together and all that stuff. And it'll give you a chance to go get some grub. You ready? Uh, nah, but I'm you sure? I'm about to hit up that Burger King, bro. If you want something, let me know, bro. Some banner. Uh, I don't know, but they're remodeling the penthouses upstairs. There's two penthouses upstairs, and they're doing remodeling. I, I don't know exactly what they're doing, but it, it sounds uh, labor intensive. I don't know. Antonio Brown has Corona. Fully vaccinated, test positive for the virus. How does that make sense? Well, actually, it does make sense. Got Jaron Duran, 499. Red Sox. Anthony Walters, Mets first Bowman autograph. How's your friend doing, JMS? Is he all right? Everyone reacts differently to that. I forgot to top load that. There's a little Wonder Franco. Only had flu symptoms, so he probably didn't even have that. Probably didn't even have the Ronas. Yeah, I gotta top load all these. Let me just do that now. I think there's UFC pay-per-view on Saturday. Nick Diaz coming back. Volkowski uh, defending his championship. Do you think the Marlin Stadium would be good for a football stadium? Is it? 
Because they're building uh, a healer building into Miami, uh, an arena by the city. It's ridiculous, bro. So you have the Marlins playing here in fucking Rio Havana. You have the AAA in downtown Biscayne. You have Inter Miami somewhere in the city. And you got the Dolphins way in fucking Casapinga. How does that make sense? They should have kept the Orange Bowl there, bro. They're doing it by the airport. Like it's an airport. Yeah, for, the, for Miami. Why would they even build a stadium for that team? Have you seen the Orange Bowl? They can't But I, w- I would go watch a game. No, hell yeah, I'm not saying with taxpayer money. Don't like Marlins Stadium, that's it. Yeah, I wish the Dolphins played closer. Uh, Kevin Mead to 25 versus Bowman Cubs. Is that a good one? You know what's great about the Orange Bowl is there's a lot of there's a lot of housing there, so people would like people that lived around there would charge people to park in like their house or something. So parking wasn't that big of a problem in the Orange Bowl. It was just an old stadium. But let me wrong, the modern stadium is beautiful, gorgeous. We just suck. That's all. We just we just suck. But yeah, it'd be nice if the Hurricanes had their own stadium, if the Dolphins had their own stadium, and it was actually in Miami. Freddie Freeman, four ninety nine Braves. Good question, Johnny B, and I don't have an answer to that right now. I uh, I thought I checked the list before I started. I gotta see what's going on with that. But more than likely, someone asked for a refund. Oh, actually, I can tell you who it is right now. It's the Indians. But that means I'm missing a team. And I don't know what team that is. I'll figure that out later. Thank you for bringing that to my attention, Johnny. I obviously didn't catch that. We got Gabriel Rodriguez, 199 for his Bowman Indians. Got Malfrin Sosa. What's up with these names? This he has a nice autograph. First Bowman for the Twins. The Rays are missing. Ah. I know who gets the Rays. Thank you, Johnny. Thank you, JMS. Got that figured out just now. So the Indians are William Davis, 
Reigns of Mark. Mikal Perez, 250 first Bowman Mariners. Well, at least the names are creative. So I see like just now I had the Indians listed twice. They were listed twice and somebody told me and I had forgot that I had refunded one of those teams. Someone else bought them so that they would have showed up twice. But I, I didn't catch that. But I do remember that there was a switch made and the dude that had the Indians has the rings now. So... But I have a record of all that stuff. That's why I was able to figure it out. Yeah, I don't know who the Chiefs players are in this. Everyone has an opinion. You know how that goes. All right, so that's it for the break. Uh, some nice stuff here. Not that many refractors. Lots of color, though. Perez 250, Rodriguez 199, Freeman 499, May 25, Hayes 299, Freeman 299. You probably can't hear me with all that noise going on upstairs. So, that's the color. And the autographs. So we got a redemption for Marco Minas Cardinals. None of these are numbered. But here's what we got. And as far as our color autograph. We got Bradley 250, Mieses 299. And uh, Nick Frost at a 99. And that's the break. Thank you all. I'll get it out to you.